blah blah. He looked like a nice man to be honest. I just saw the face and I was like, I could tell that he was like a bit chubby, but it didn't bother me. He was like, cool. He said, um, what are you doing tomorrow? I was like, well, I've got a few things to do tomorrow, but do you know Morrison's car fucking shopping? Yep, I know it. What time? Um, I can't remember. I think we met somewhere early at 12.30 or 1 o'clock. Afternoon, guys, not midnight. And I was like, yeah, cool. Like, he goes, I've got some stuff to do, but yeah, I can fit like a few minutes in. I was like, yeah, that's cool. At least we can just get to know each other. And if we like each other, then we can go on a proper day in it. I was like, yeah, cool. Get to Morrison's car park. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting him to be so fat. He was a fat so man, he was really fat. I mean like the steering wheel was like this is the steering wheel. He was like his body was literally like I've never seen anything like that. I wasn't expecting that. Like he was really fat. <laughs> it was just I'm just fat. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds so rude, but it's the truth. That was a big shock. And for this car as well, like, it should have had, like, if it was, it would, I don't think he would have looked so big if he had, like, a Jeep or, you know, SUV type of people carrier or something, a truck, a van, something bigger than him. But that car could not accommodate his weight. He was massive and his chair was pushed all the way back and he was still so close to the... <laughs> There I was sitting there, my little self. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, oh yeah, you're gorgeous and stuff. I was like, thanks. So, it's actually nice to see someone that looks like their pictures because not a lot of people that I've met look like their pictures. And I was just like, I know, right? He goes, what do you think of me? <laughs> I was like, yeah, you got the same face. He goes, yeah, like, I, I don't think I look any other way because, you know, this is just me. Do you get what I mean? Do you get what I mean? <laughs> and I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, I got this bit, but I didn't, didn't get the rest. <laughs> and he just kept talking. Conversation was flowing, though. Good conversation. And then I said, I think I have to go now anyway. And he goes, oh, you're leaving so soon. Well, we definitely have to do this again. We definitely have to meet again. I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Defo. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's so funny. <laughs> As I was getting out of the car, you never believe. This is his hand. Do you see what this is? My leg. This is. Ah! Do you know this is? Definitely have to meet. That's me. I said, no team out. I said, you. It doesn't mean that you should be putting your hand there. He goes, I'm oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I just couldn't resist. Like those legs in those shorts. Like, well, you should resist. If you resisted, you would not be looking how you're looking in this car. It's car strangled. My God, I wouldn't even know what to do if that was someone driving inside me like that. Jesus, it was you and your 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 not resisting that that led you to be to be an airbag for the car that has an airbag. Huh. Big. It's like that audacity to do this. Oh my God, on oh my leg. My leg. <laughs> This is me. I slapped the hand off. You naughty, naughty, naughty. You did not have resistance. Jesus. Oh my God. I did that. He was, like, <laughs> he was laughing. <laughs> me, I went laughing to be honest. I was like, what a cheek. <laughs> I so to imagine. Anyway, I got out of that car. There was me, boy. I was straight on the phone to my friend. <laughs> Imagine the person who does it, you didn't put that on my fire. No. <laughs> oh, funny times, man. But we remained friends for a while. And 
Oh, it's so funny because there was actually a time like we we was talking for months and months and months and I was seeing people but it just wasn't happening. I actually was like, I actually nearly opened myself, I nearly opened the thought of actually dating him. I told you, like sometimes when you actually just open yourself up and you're open to a bit of change, you'd be surprised, you know. And then as I was like considering, I was like, you know, you know what? He's actually a nice man. Maybe not physically what you want or like, but why not? Someone that's been there and wants to give you a chance. Not knowing that the nice person I thought he was, he was making moves on my friend. And, and especially someone I wasn't even talking to at the time. Do not. That we wasn't talking to at the time. And then when I found out that when we was talking, like everything that he was telling me, like you don't need someone like that in your life and blah, blah, blah. That's why you've got me at least. I'm always going to be here. That per he was de inviting that person to his house for parties and all sorts. So yeah, better the devil you know. Even ugly people, even people that can hardly walk in a straight line without needing to take a breath can be deceiving, you know. Imagine. Um, you're talking to me, yeah? And I'm not, not going to say anything, yeah, because I don't even regard myself in high spirits. I actually have quite... Sometimes I have... really. I'm really insecure about the way I look sometimes. But I can definitely say compared to that, yeah, I was 188, <laughs> yeah? And then I'm humble and I'll give you a rant of a day, laughing, meeting up, we're going out for dinner, having a laugh, introducing my friends, you know, like, I'm so open. And then you go and do something like that because you get a bit of attention. See, sometimes when you're a nice person, yeah, and you are nice, people take advantage of that because now they feel like they spoke to the best. So now you don't know it intentionally, but you've boosted their ego to think, for them to think that now they can speak to anyone because they've spoken to you. But you don't even realise how good you are until people like that do actions like that. Because I didn't understand it at the time. I was like, you kidding me? Or what? Is this some sort of joke? But that's what it is. And every time after, always trying to hit me up. How are you? Miss talking to you. How are you? You don't miss anything. Trust me. You. The only thing you miss is the thing you never got to have. Hmm. Never. Never even a peck. Never. I never even got to sniff my neck. Never anything. You miss a notorious B.I.G. Good. No wonder. That is the only reason why you're overweight. Is because you're very deceitful. You eat your deceit. That's why. You eat your deceit on top of meals. And then you wonder why you... Imagine. Gosh, Professor Clump. So angry, you know. Imagine. Night Professor tried to pull one over on me. Ah, let me tell you something. Nonsense. <laughs> no one will ever, ever in life get away with taking advantage of you and your kind nature. Because... If I have to do right now, I swear to you, if I just was to find his name and message him, yeah, he would reply in an instant, oh my god, how are you? Yeah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can wait for the never ever happening, because it's never ever. Do you remember the time Junior told you that you're never gonna get this up? Why? <laughs> Big fool! <laughs> Very wicked, you know. Junior, you know, you're very, you're being very, very wicked right now. It's these people, yeah, they don't deserve anything nice, especially when they make you feel some type of way and you're actually being genuine. I haven't got, I don't owe anyone anything. I'm not gonna sit here, be, I don't, hey, I'm not gonna say anything bad because of, no, I won't tell you what it is. You are fat. If you don't like it, then I'm sorry that is the truth. You was fat, but you was kind and you was charming. You was fat and you was deceitful. You never ever have anything this good in your life ever again. Let me tell you, but to you, yeah, this is Capri's world, honestly. And you mucked it up. You didn't even get the cat in breeze. <laughs> Trust me, feels so good, boy. So good. So, so many people have fucked me over, right? And they have never ever even got to have a sip of me. Thank God. Thank the Lord. I'm ready to go.